kitchen. Jody is cooking. She is cooking up a storm. And me like how she a guan. Me say you want to taste it. You have to taste it. Hi guys, it's Jody. Wagwan Wagwan. Welcome back to my channel. So guys, today I've got another amazing, delicious recipe for you all. I'm gonna make some Jamaican fricassee chicken. Yes, may I tell you, this right here are gonna be super delicious, so flavorful and so much watering. I know that you all are gonna enjoy it. So please, kindly do give this video a thumbs up and also do share it. And subscribe to my channel so you can receive more amazing, delicious recipe like these. Thank you all so much for all the love and support. I really, really, really appreciate it. Now stay tuned for the video. So guys, just before I show you all my ingredients, I just want to read you all a Bible verse. And I pray that you all is blessed by it. So it's from 1 Peter 5 verse 7. So this is the word of the Lord. Cast all your anxiety on him because he cares for you amen god care for you guys god love you so 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 much and you have a great plans and purpose for your life i pray that you all is blessed by this word thank you all so much for hearing stay blessed yeah, so these are all of my ingredients right here so this is my chicken and I'm using leg and thigh. So guys, this is at least two and a half pound of my leg and thigh, okay? So, and these are all of my fresh herbs. Here I have at least over two stalk of my scallion that I cut. This is how I cut it. You can cut it in whichever size you prefer. And I also have at least three to four cloves of garlic and ginger, fresh ginger, at least one teaspoon, scotch bonnet pepper, just a little bit I'm gonna cut it and I also have some fresh thyme at least two tablespoons of my fresh thyme onion of onion that I cut also one medium size potato Irish potato that I cut this is how I cut it not too small yeah that's the perfect size and carrot this is at least two small carrot that I cut also and this is my pimento seed, at least two teaspoons that I crush, otherwise as all spice. Sweet pepper, this is off and I cut it. I have the red and the orange, you can use any color. And one small tomato. And these are all of my seasoning. Here I have at least one tablespoon of my all-purpose seasoning one tablespoon of my jerk powder seasoning i also have one tablespoon of my chicken seasoning one teaspoon of black pepper and two teaspoon of my paprika okay you can use any season of your choice so this is at least two and a half pound of my chicken leg and thigh as i said it's already washed and clean and I wash it in some lemon juice just to remove, you know, any rawness from it. And guys, with my fricassee chicken, fricassee chicken is totally different from brown stew chicken. Because with fricassee chicken, you fry the chicken, yes, for at least 5 minutes to 4 minutes on each side. And some people also leave the skin on it. You don't have to, but the skin, when it's stewed on, it gives it a nice flavor. Yes, so I'm going to keep the skin on. You can always remove it. But as I said, it gives the, the stew a nice, nice, delicious flavor. I love fricassee chicken and my husband, he love it also. Yes, because as I said, it is different from the brown stew chicken. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to firstly season my chicken. I'm going to add my fresh ingredients first. I'm going to add my onions. Make sure that you dry this chicken with a paper towel just to remove any excess water. You can do that. I'm also going to add my scallion, garlic, ginger. Fresh thyme. Pimento seed that I crush. Tomato. Carrot. Irish potato. Sweet pepper. Scotch bonnet pepper, 
you don't need a lot I add over one teaspoon so with my seasoning just gonna mix it in guys with my cooking I love to keep my cooking authentic I love to add all of the fresh seasoning which is the fresh thyme the scallion the garlic ginger yes that's what makes a different especially in you know Caribbean cooking Jamaican cooking so now I'm just gonna take my hand and just massage all that seasoning all over on my chicken and with fricassee chicken normally if I'm doing brown stew chicken I would be adding the browning but you notice with the fricassee chicken I did not add no browning you can add browning maybe, maybe in further use in the gravy but for now no browning you can smell all that herbs already trust me this is gonna be so good yeah just make sure that all the chicken is covered in the seasoning that way it will be delicious Yeah, so that's all done. Yeah, perfectly seasoning. So here I have my pot and my stove. And to my pot, I'm going to add at least half cup of my oil. Because you know I'm going to fry the chicken as I said. And just allow it to eat up. So the oil is now eat up. So now I'm going to add my chicken. I am not gonna add it all at once. I'm gonna add it skin size done. Yeah, try not to overcrowd the pot. That's it. So just over four minutes or so, I'm gonna flip over it. Nice and golden. That's exactly what you want. So the chicken is nice and golden so I'm gonna remove it and put it to a plate for now so now I'm gonna add the remaining chicken
yes guys so this is the same pot i use to fry my chicken but what i did i removed most of the oil and i just leave back a little bit of oil and if there's any bits also leave back you can also remove it so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna saute all of my vegetables yeah. I'm gonna saute it for at least a minute or so. So after a minute, this is what it look like. Nice and salty. Perfect. So the same bowl that I use to season my chicken, I'm gonna add at least four cups of water from my kettle. Mix it in. And add it to my pot. I'm going to add all my remaining seasoning and I'm also going to add some of my ketchup at least one tablespoon of my tomato ketchup yeah and browning just a little bit of browning for color you don't need a lot yeah that's it if you don't have browning you can also use dark soy mix it all in I'm going to cover it up for at least four minutes and I eat So after at least over four minutes to three minutes, I'm gonna remove the lid to bubble up. So now I'm gonna add my chicken, okay? Just like so. This looks so good. Yeah, just add to the plate, just add a little bit of water. This look real good and it's not even finished. Trust me, the flavor in this is gonna be everything. I have a few of my carrot and onions, so I'm just gonna add it all. And just a potato is what's leave back. And I also have a few of my scallion and thyme leave back. Just add it. What you can do, you can always taste it to your liking. If it need any salt, you can always add salt. So I'm just going to allow it to cook for at least 25 minutes or so. Because remember that the chicken is already pre-cooked when I fried it. So you know it's not going to take so long. Just going to cover it up. So guys, it's been cooking for over 15 minutes. It is not yet finished. I just wanna check on it to see what it look like. Absolutely delicious. So nice and so juicy. Cover it up back. So my fricassee chicken is all finished, absolutely delicious.
it is cooked to perfection it looks real good so nice and so juicy So now I'm gonna plate up my fricassee chicken and guys comment below and tell me what you're gonna serve it with. No, it will be nice with rice and peas. Our plain rice is absolutely delicious. This is restaurant quality. So this is it guys. This is how I make my Jamaican fricassee chicken. Please remember if you try it, comment below and tell me what it's like. Also do remember to give this video a thumbs up and share and subscribe to my channel so you can receive more amazing delicious recipe like these. I thank you all so much for watching. Until next time, bye and do enjoy. Yum.